Well, former Republican Steve Schmidt is at it once again. I mean, it's amazing that this guy can find some very great words to describe what's going on with the president at any given time. You just let him go and he takes off. Check what he had to say this time. I think that there's a sense amongst the American people that we're living in truly historic times, and we are, and that never in all the course of human history have we ever had an American leader who has performed as incompetently and ineptly as has Donald Trump during the course of this pandemic. And as a result, we have a shattered economy. The United States is the epicenter of coronavirus disease and death. We are over 100,000 dead and we'll have many more before this is over. And of course, the 40 million people out of work in no other country has the economic consequences been what they are in the United States. We've seen a president incite violence. We've seen a president hide in his bunker. We've seen a president order violence against peaceful protesters outside the White House exercising their constitutionally protected rights to speech, to assembly, to petition the government. And the American people have seen this clinic of ineptitude play out now for months. We've seen a president up there when tens of thousands of Americans are dead talking about his TV ratings. We've seen him recommend the injection of household disinfectants to deal with coronavirus. From bottom to top, from right to left, wherever you look, I think the American people are saying, Four years is enough, and we need to go in a different direction in November. And as a result, Joe Biden is rising in the polls. And they also saw the American people last week, Joe Biden, I think, perform like a president is supposed to in a time of great crisis. He gave a hell of a speech last week. He was out from Wilmington, and I think the American people saw the measure of a man. In the end, Lawrence, can it come down to this? We have a moral man, Joe Biden, versus an immoral and amoral man, Donald Trump. We have an honest man, Joe Biden, versus a deeply corrupt man, Donald Trump. We have a competent man, Joe Biden, versus an incompetent man in Donald Trump. We have a respected international statesman in Joe Biden versus an international laughingstock in Donald Trump. And that's the question the American people are going to have to decide continuing precipitous decline with Trump or in a season of American renewal with Vice President Biden. Wow, I could not have said that any better. Great talking points, ready to go. Folks, listen, if you're listening to that and you're into moving into another direction, you have your talking points set up and ready to go. Steve Smith went on to say thereafter that the coattails that all the, the, that the senators may start to try to run away from Donald Trump in the next few months, but... As he said, they've already attached themselves to him. So more than likely, the Senate will be changing as well. Because if he goes, the Senate goes, the Senate goes, more than likely, many of the states go. That is, goes, that is where we are at right now. It is for progressives and Democrats to lose. Let's not screw it up. I'm Egberto Willis, host of Politics Done Right, an independent news program. I post several news videos of interest every day. I ask you so kindly to subscribe to my channel and please leave me some comments. Thank you very much.